Today, the 23rd of May, we are starting our trip to Poland, Germany and Denmark. This is Matt's house. We took some small gravel roads from the start down to Mälaren. And of course we needed some coffee during the trip, so we had to stay for a while. Passing a bridge over Lake Mälaren, the third largest lake in Sweden. And finally we reached uh, the camp Mälarbaden, the first camp during the trip. We had a little rain during the day and this is the first morning when we are waking up and having breakfast after a rather chilly night. It was only 4 degrees Celsius during the night. But the sun is warming us up and uh, we are talking what we are doing during the coming day. The plan for today is uh, go down to Nynäshamn, a harbor uh, city in Sweden. And during the trip we are going to meet up with Erik, uh, Mats son, son uh, living in Stockholm. The clock is around 7 uh, in the morning and uh, Mats hasn't got any breakfast yet, but he's going to fix that rather soon. So we think we are finished and uh, on our way within two hours. Mats has planned a rather nice route for us for today. Some small asphalt roads down out to uh, Baltic Sea and this is a deep bay coming in from the Baltic Sea and the large ferries are going up to Södertälje uh, just passing through uh, outside here we had to wait uh, half an hour for the ferry but um, suddenly it came and this is the passage over the bay and here is a ferryman and he is very interested in what we are doing and what we are going to do uh, during our trip so I told them uh, what, we, what our plans were on the other side we met up with Eric so now we are three persons riding and here we have just arrived to the ferry terminal in Nynäshamn and bordering the ship way well and now we are getting off the ship the morning after it took 18 hours in Gdansk we lost each other but suddenly we were on the right place uh, all three of us camping stogi 218 after checking in we found a nice spot on a small hill and Eric has been down to a small shop and bought some wine and uh, beer. Mats is working on the computer for a trip for the next day and Eric and I um, are tasting wine and beer and I think also some whiskey. We woke up to a very nice weather the first morning in Poland in Gdansk and uh, had some breakfast. After some hours we reached TET and it started with sand and sand and sand all day long only sand and sand and sand boring. We talked about all the sand during the day and decided not to go further with TET in Poland. This is our second uh, camping spot in Poland, just nearby the river Verda, and we decided to follow that uh, river northward up to the east coast next day. But we had a very nice dinner during the evening and the weather is still very very good. Uh, so nothing to complain about and Mats made a track uh, for the next day 
and here is the breakfast time and it's uh, egg bacon and coffee and uh, I think uh, even Eric uh, made some toast out of the bacon fat from the frying he stopped his father Mats uh, from uh, throwing the fat from the frying away he tried to do it but uh, no 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 I think the breakfast is the most important meal during the day when you are out camping and motorcycling otherwise you can't manage the day after the breakfast we follow the a small track which Mats had done and uh, it was on the countryside and we passed through very many small uh, village there were mainly small houses not the big ones with many floors here we just passing by if I remember right uh, the other two guys had took the wrong way and I had to wait for them now we had reached a bigger town, Kosalin, and there we stopped for buying some food. And after that we went to Mielno, a small place up on the uh, Baltic coastline. Here we are in Mielno. And we have found our camping spot after driving around for a while and there were a lot of uh, campings to choose from and uh, there were many tourists at this place so if they were from uh, other countries or if it's a popular place for Polish people I don't know anyway we have still good weather not any rain only the first day the sun is shining every every day very very nice but uh, some days too hot for me but I have to get over that the other two guys aren't uh, affected by the warm weather as I am the traffic is fiery and um, it's going very fast and somewhat uh, dangerous I would say compared to Sweden the third day in Poland we drove along the Baltic coastline for a while and uh, there were many lush trees hanging over the road and it was a common sight in Poland this was a very beautiful church suddenly we came to a stop they had blocked the road and we had to find an alternative way this is our last stop in Poland where we had lunch and uh, now we have uh, reached the first camping spot in Germany after some TET uh, driving and it was rather much sand in Germany also which uh, considerations uh, Will you take before going to Poland by motorcycle? Well, we had as a goal to follow TIT in the northern part of uh, Poland, but um, instead of doing that, we uh, went over to Germany pretty fast. And the reason for that was all the sand in the TET tracks in the northern part of Poland. Besides that, uh, there are some other considerations also. Uh, if you look to the roads, uh, the public roads, they were very worn and no verges 
uh, at all. Uh, and I think the most beautiful landscape is in the southern pol part of Poland. And you can ter not drive TET there now because it's too nearby the border to Ukraine. And as we all know, there's a war going on there. That means that you are uh, missing the most beautiful part of Poland, the southern part, uh, with the Tatra mountain and the famous uh, salt mines, and uh, also the concentration camp. Auschwitz Birkenau. The traffic is going very fast in Poland and uh, I think they drive with no concerns to motorcyclists. Some pros also. Uh, the people in Poland is uh, very kind and it's rather cheap there. Uh, about 20 to 30 percent lower than in Sweden. Their currency is Slotty, not Euro. And you, if you take the small roads, you will pass through a, a lot of small, nice villages. And we did that actually, instead of TIT. And if possible, wait until TET is opening up again in the southern part so you can visit the, the Tatra mountains and the, the beautiful landscape in the southern of Poland. Today I would recommend you to go by the Baltic Sea coastline. We were there uh, and it was very pretty and nice there. Uh, um, a more tourist, of course, but uh, very f f uh, nice uh, camping spots and so on.